Okay, so we have the Iron Banner armor quest line. It's pretty simple, very straightforward. First thing you want to go is go to Lord Saladin, which is located on the tower. You can follow this route if you want, or go another way, I don't know. This is the route I always go to Lord Salad, man. Um, if you're just here for one thing, it is the fourth or fifth step, which you need grenade launcher kills, and basically it's bugged right now in this first iron banner on the third week of shadow keep if you're watching this maybe maybe it's patched or fixed already but basically uh that one you have to get s10 smg kills it says 10 grenade launcher kills but it seems like bungie messed up one of the uh quest steps or when they were copying and pasting their code they seem to have forgot to switch uh some machine guns and grenade launchers so basically you want to go back and do uh get the grenade launcher I mean, get when you get get SMG again, you get ten kills, and you'll finish the last step for this uh, armor quest. Uh, yes, this is a video, and a video. This is from my stream I had earlier today, and this is the easier way to make a video or just a recap on what we did today instead of just downloading the file and redoing it all. It doesn't seem worth. But here is the first step here, where you get thirty opponents defeated. 10 capture zones or zo capture 10 zones and three super kills is the first step is really simple nothing too too special um nothing too hard to do the one thing everyone's got to know is that there are some steps that are that go th like i don't know how to explain it but like they continue the progress even if it's not shown on the quest step so for example the, f the final step one of the final steps on the last step is complete 15 iron banner uh matches while you, you don't have to, it is to start at zero it starts at whatever you ha have been playing for the entire session basically also with super kills at some point you get 15 super uh kills i think or 20 super kills and at that point if you have like a couple like at least like 10 already from like the past couple uh quest steps it will still continue on to the third or fourth one so it's actually really cool on how that works instead of actually at the re get them again and again and again while and now it just makes it so much better and a lot easier so let us uh get on to this next step we're playing on a hunter um also nothing too special any no really tips just play the game for this one just capture points kill get 30 kills any weapon or any gun assist count as well and just get super kills which is easy use roaming supers not uh burst supers okay so the next step drops a pulse rifle for you and the reason why it drops a pulse rifle for you is because it wants you to get 25 pulse rifle kills uh and some other steps as well so this is the second step it's pretty simple like i said everything continues on into the next step so the last step you had to get 30 kills which is gone but it will still add up matches complete this is a new uh, quest step and it, since this is my second or my third match or fourth match i guess um or actually it's my fifth match so this is my fourth uh, I, 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 i've played four before this one so it, it continue on even if it didn't show it in the first step it actually counted it before and then we have to get 25 final blows of a pulse rifle and this one's pretty simple use what you like to use a lot for me i like the blast furnace but it doesn't seem as great anymore i could be wrong um other than that I was working at Outlast, the Gambit Prime weapon, as a rapid fire uh, pulse rifle, and I it shreds. It literally kills very fast. If you have full auto trigger on it, it will shoot very fast, like an auto rifle, but it does a ton of damage. So I don't know for you, for anybody else. The other there's there is other um, what do you call it? There is other rapid fire pulse rifles like Claw, the one you get from Iron Banner. I forget what it's called. Um, but that one's another rapid fire. It's also really good. So just take your pick and pretty much just choose uh, what you like. And nothing too special, nothing too hard for this one. All right. So once we get our kill right here, it drops a uh, gauntlet and a fusion rifle. The fusion rifle is because the next step is to get twenty uh, fusion rifle kills, basically. Um, and then the rest you gotta get 100 opponents defeated like i said it trap it continues on and 29 or 30 zones completed which we already had a lot of them already because we that's how you're supposed to play iron banner most of the time so with this uh final blows i the best 
there's two suggestions I kind of have, or three, I guess. If you have a good Aaron Till, then I guess that's, I don't know how you pronounce it, but that's pretty much a good, I guess, uh, fusion rifle. Um, other than that, you have two exotics. The Telesto is really good still. Um, if you're like a beginner, it's just good to stick on stuff and just shoot it at people. And they pretty much blow up. The last one, which the one I used, and it's always fun to use, is the Yotun, the toaster oven. It is really fun and very quick if you can pretty much one shots, but it's a little bit harder fusion rifle just because you have to hit it's only one ball while a fusion rifle has multiple bullets and could kill someone in three hits probably. But that's pretty much this step. Nothing too hard. I recommend like those three fusion rifles are pretty good. And any other ones, if you're used to other ones, I'm sure use them. But I enjoy using the Yotun, so that's pretty much that one. Okay, so the next step when we get our last skill right here. We get the quest step, and oh no, I lied. We do not get I, that. Is a mistake right there. I'm pretty sure we got a kill there. I guess we were missing one. Well, that's that's fun. Um, I guess I get a kill right here instead. Interesting. Anyways, we get a boots and a submachine gun. So the reason why we get a submachine gun is we gotta get uh 15 submachine gun kills. Now I'm very bad at SMGs. Even though I do have the Recluse, of course, or well, not on me right now, but I do have the Recluse, and I do have Mountain Top, so people use Mountain Top and Recluse. There's other submachines that are really good, more you want maybe how about a try out a Heavy Impact submachine gun, where those would do a lot of damage from up close, and probably the time to kill is pretty fast. Recluse is only good if you pair it with another weapon, because the whole point of it is with its perk, Master of Arms. When you get a kill of another gun and you swap to it, you'll have like basically a kill clip. Basically, instead of you don't need to get the kill of a gun, but you could just get a kill clip. I mean, get a kill of any gun, and you will basically um, get a free kill clip on the gun. So I don't know. I use a mountain top, which I'm bad at as well. But that's just a small example of some submachine guns. You just gotta find them and whatever ones you like. It took a while to do, but uh, pretty much it's a really simple one. I don't remember the other steps. Oh yeah, Super Final Blows which is also easy and more zone captures, which is also a very easy one to do. Just keep playing the game and you're pretty much good to go. All right, so here we have our final kill for SMG and we get a chest piece and a power weapon grenade launcher. Now this one is the one that's bugged right now. So this one, it'll probably be fixed probably on Thursday or something in a couple days from now. Plus we need 15 matches complete. So no matter what, in total, even if you get all these kills very fast, you have to get at least 15 matches done. That's all you need to remember. Just get 15. If you go above 15, you're doing you're doing pretty poorly. But if you're getting under, if you're under that, and you're playing pretty good, you just gotta play Iron Banner for fun, I guess. And you need 50 zone captures in total as well. So get to start capturing the zones. Don't ignore them. And then this is where I, where I say it's bug because it says you need green launcher final blows. But right now, as of right now on this recording, you need only 10 SMG kills. So go pull SMG and you will pretty much figure it out. I had a very long time of not, I've tried my best to figure it out on stream and it was completely broken and I couldn't figure it out. But pretty much it's just SMG kills. All right, so here we're gonna get our last, last SMG kill for the grenade launcher bug one. So here we are gonna die actually. But for some reason, it popped up at the end, which was the weird thing. So I didn't actually get SMG kill there. That's actually, don't remember how that happened. That's weird, actually weird. Wait, what? What actually happened at the end there? Anyways, when you <laughs> finish the quest step, you get, uh, you gotta return the Saladin, and then you get the actual armor pieces, the helmet, and the cl and the class item. So it's weird how they have it set up where the first one doesn't give you armor, but then the last four give you all the five pieces of armor. It's kind of weird. I don't know why, but of course, we're gonna head uh, to Salad and it gives you a little paragraph, and that's it. That's the armor, and you can buy token uh, by uh, using tokens to buy the packages. So here we're gonna talk to Salad Man. And he'll give us a little paragraph. If you want to read it, you can. Nothing too special. And then once you accept, nothing happens. You can just redeem the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the packages. But like I said, 
this is pretty much it. It's pretty simple. You can do it on all characters. Uh, you get the full set on all the characters. It's really fast. It takes maybe like two, one hour, maybe, depending on how fast the matches are and how good you can get kills with. Um, as you can see, uh, and these give pinnacle gear, so make sure you know you grab those pinnacle gear and do them. And I'll grab the bounties and stuff. A lot of cool stuff. And Iron Banner is always fun. But that's pretty much it. Hopefully that helped. I don't know. That's pretty bad format of a video. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't really care. It's just a video.